cliff. Right here, death. Two steps back, and I was gone. What's up everybody? This is Caleb from the future because Caleb from the past forgot to tell you anything that was going on. So today, I am going to be shooting a photo shoot. Well, not today, in a few days for Attitude Magazine. It is the premier gay magazine in the UK. That's the best way to describe it. I mean, so many queer icons have graced the cover of this magazine. I'm gonna be featured in a spread in the magazine. So this is one of, I feel like, the biggest things that I've done. I am super nervous, but I've asked my friend Joe Lopez, who you know and love, because you comment about him all the time. To do my makeup, my boy makeup, for this photo shoot. So let's get to it. Also, Kayla from the future is gonna give you a side note, because I, I'm into Funko Pops now, so I'm collecting Pokemon Funko Pops. I'm also collecting, these are not where they're going to go, but Britney Funko Pops. I think I'm gonna start doing little Amiibos as well, but I am also collecting the Pokeballs. And these Pokeballs sold by the Pokemon Company. So they, this like, look, it lights up. It's really cool. $100. This Pokeball costs $100. <laughs> but I'm not buying any of these things for myself as a gift because I like buy myself everything that I want because I'm so impulsive. So I'm deciding that like the Funko Pops and uh, like the Pokeballs and stuff, I'm not buying for myself. I'm only going to get as a gift. And just so you know, I have a P.O. box listed on my website. <laughs> So the P.O. box is right here. Oh my God, I'm such a bitch. I also forgot to set up that Caleb from the past had an awful zit on his face. And so that's what he's gonna be bitching about in three, two, one. Also like chose Joe because if you saw the video where he put me in drag, like who better to do your makeup than a drag queen? That bitch can blend. All right, this is day two with the pimple photo shoots in one hour and I did the Mindy patch, and Joe Lopez is here to do my makeup for the shoot, and so we'll see if Joe can do it. It's a big task. Do you think you can make me pretty? <laughs> I don't think anyone can make you pretty. <laughs> Pimple reveal. Pimple reveal, here we go. How does it look? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the picture you sent me yesterday looked a lot worse. Okay. So this is not bad. That was you really trying to make it nice and put a bow on it. Baby, I put a cherry on it, a bow, it was glitter paper. <laughs> I know to not prime is a crime. I, Joe, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm a drag queen, not a makeup artist. <laughs> I actually just want to test it real quick. Oh, that's already wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how beautiful you look already, you sweet little boy. You sweet little handsome man. <clears throat> um, the guy who did my spray tan, you guys know him, Jimmy Coco. He just sprayed him and Olivia Wilde for the Met Gala. He also was officially endorsed by Jennifer Aniston and Heidi Klum. Wow, I love Heidi Klum. <laughs> Remember when she was a worm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was his work, but. <laughs> Um, Cameron just got his hole lasered too. His hole? I actually vlogged getting my hole lasered. What was it like getting your hole lasered? It was like someone went in my ass. Really? Yep. It was so, it honestly, it was pleasant. Mm -hmm. It didn't hurt at all? No. I was so, I was expecting it to hurt. Have you got anything else lasered that hurt? My but that didn't hurt either. Wow. It was just like someone giving a nice little blow. Honestly, that made you look so even. I'm just gonna have that there. Does dancing count as working out? <laughs> that wasn't a shady question. <laughs> Does lip syncing count as performing? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get mad now. <laughs> I think you look really cute. I think you look natural. You look normal. What pimple? Really? Wow. I mean, let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just tried to spit on me. I'm not trying to spit on you. Beauty patootie. I'm you look really good in the video. That's all that matters. All right, we're on our way to set. I look pretty. Joe's gonna be there to touch me up and most importantly to give me emotional support when I feel ugly. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I just don't know if I should. The look is great. You were 
very like. Over. Joe, you asked me how I felt. Yeah, how'd you feel? Um, I actually felt really good. I was ner I had like a mini, not panic attack, but like a mini anxiety moment coming um, up here, but the photographer was, he was so nice. Oh, so, yeah. so chill, so, so easy. easy, so gay. So I felt so comfortable. And I was able to just do my thing, which is nice, and I felt more confident saying what I was comfortable doing and like what my strengths were. How did you think it went? I think it went awesome. The maybe falling off a cliff. Yeah, almost. Yeah. I was talking to the camera, I was like, I got so nervous right now. <laughs> I do thrive when there are high stakes, like death. <laughs> no, honestly, it was smooth. Yeah. Easy, quick. I mean, we're done. So, yeah, the bushes. Yeah. Horns. Ha! Oh! I know. Oh, wait, is that I told him kind it, of a sir? I was like, it's like cruising in the park. <laughs> All right, so today is the next day and I am rounding out this whole Attitude Magazine thing with a video interview and it's in 23 minutes. And I um, haven't done anything to my face, but my zit is just now super dry. I was just thinking, I was in therapy yesterday. I was like, just like at the end of my hour session with my therapist and we were talking about how like I'm going on tour soon with, you know, the, like the, the dances, which is what I always used to do. Like we used to tour everywhere before we started doing like just live streams, like just online content. It was a good session. It was just like a normal everyday session. He just like gave me this moment of validation. He's like, you're ready. And it just had me thinking like a few years ago when I was in therapy and I was like calling him around the clock, crying in my sessions, feeling like I couldn't function day to day. And for me to be at that point, and then now be at a place where I'm just like talking and having fun and laughing and for my therapist just to so genuinely tell me, wow, you're ready. Well, I'm so proud of you I'm, and you're, you're ready to do these things. You're in such a good place. Like I was at a point where I never thought I would be in a good place. I felt like that wasn't for me. I thought life was always just gonna be hard and I was always just gonna be like a ball of anxiety and have to just deal with that. I'm just proud of myself. Wow, it wasn't overnight but it paid off. And now I'm like able to not only live my dreams, but enjoy it. Cause I wasn't enjoying it for a really long time. I just did the interview. I couldn't even record it because I was so late and frazzled. I was on the floor. I was up there. I brought, you can see the green chair up there. I sat my laptop on the chair and then I sat on the floor and did a full interview. And it was fine. I had a great time, but like also what respected professional sits on the floor for an interview. Me. I back all of the photos, the final edits, and I'm gonna review them with you and let's see how they turned out. I'm not a model. I, you know what? My therapist told me, be impeccable with your words because your brain believes the shit that you tell it. So I'm gonna be confident. I am learning how to model. Now let's look at these pictures. Uh, this is cute. Am I cute? I honestly, I feel like the, I like the photos most when I'm just smiling. In my heart, I want to be sexy and I want to like give face. I don't think that's for me. Like I think photos like this are what capture my essence. Oh, okay. Um, she's strong. I feel like my face might be a little too photoshopped. Like it looks like, or maybe it's just like in motion. My ass looks flat and that's okay. Cute starfish pose. I also think that's pretty cute. Uh, Joe, Lo you saw that Joe did my makeup and it looked so good. He made my skin look just freaking fresh. <laughs> so, okay. So they wanted me to do like exercise movements while I was shooting and I was trying to be like, listen, like that's not me. Like I, I dance and I'm fun. I'm not like a push up, like running treadmill type of workout person. And so they, <laughs> Devin was fantastic. I loved him. And he was like, all right, let's do some like workout moves. And I'm like, uh, push up? I don't know. Like whatever. I mean, I look like I'm, fun. I'm having fun. So that's fine. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> all of these like flowers right here are weeds. They are, they are not flowers. And it was on the side of the mountain. Bush of weeds right here, right? Okay. And then, so these are the weeds. Cliff, right here, death. Two steps back, and I was gone. And so Devin was like, you know, be careful. Like, let's, let's try it if you're comfortable. And I'm like, I'm fine, I got it. 
So this, this looks serene, this looks pretty, but I was risking literally my life to show you my tits. This was definitely my idea to get a little sexy. I think they wanted to keep it more like fun and upbeat and light, but I was like, you know what? I want to feel more confident and I feel like I've always had a lot of like issues with my body and liking it. I grew up very like not confident in my body at all. And I've always struggled with body image issues and just kind of obsessing about that. And so I really wanted to just be confident and let go of my insecurities and just uh, see how it turned out. It took me a minute. It wasn't like I saw it and I was like instantly obsessed. But you know what? Like I have, I, des I deserve to show it off. So I think this is cute. I think my face is a little, a little too photoshopped, but, but it's cute. Okay, this is, this is the cover photo. It's funny, cause they ended up not thinking they were gonna use any of the shirtless photos. Cause they were like, yeah we, yeah, we can try it, but like, I don't think that's the vibe. And when they just sent me the proof of the article, this is the photo that they used on the cover. And honestly, I kind of love it. I think this is my favorite. Um, I look confident, I look good. I'm happy with my body. The weeds are weeding and they look like flowers. <sighs> this is another one of those photos that I was like, I, I don't know who you think I am, but I am not that person. I probably did this probably like for five minutes straight, like try just like running back and forth by the camera until they were like, you know what? Let's move on. Cause I didn't know how to hold my hand. Also not me wearing my Pokemon <laughs> pajamas. This. I think besides the sexy photo, this is my favorite photo. It looks like I'm jumping over the rock. I'm not actually jumping over the rock. I'm jumping in front of it. At first I tried to actually jump over it and he was like, listen, you don't need to do that. It's gonna look like you're jumping over the rock if you're in front of it. So that saved me probably my whole career because if I would have fallen on that rock, I would not have been going on tour. Very happy with the spread of my legs. Very happy with the shape of my ass. If you look, you can actually see that I have one and that's not, always the case. Is she muscular? I don't know. Very cute. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my show. Thank you for buying tickets to tour. You know what? I think that I know how to do two things and that's jump and smile and then lean to the side in a starfish pose and smile. I think those are my two signature things. I'm always doing some form of a star. So this shoot turned out way better than I thought it was going to, especially with how quick it went. I mean, I hadn't done a photo shoot in so long. It was just nice to like relax and get comfortable, but I was for sure uncomfortable. And this is just a part of my like work on myself. Like I'm not saying no to things that make me scared and I'm just gonna do it anyway, even if I'm <laughs> terrified. I'm always proud and happy when I do those things because it, it reminds me that I can do hard things and things that scare me. And I think that's like my new motto and what I want everyone like watching to just like take away. It's like, you can do hard things. Like just cause it's scary and uncomfy doesn't mean that it's not for you or you shouldn't do it. It's like, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to get out there and do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. The article is out now. I'll link it below. I did a full interview and it was really, really fun. It's for a UK magazine, a really big UK magazine. So I was, it's just like crazy that I got this opportunity. So make sure you read the article and share it and comment on it. Uh, it definitely helps me out. Oh my God. Yeah, we're about to start tour. We're going to Charlotte in, as of recording this video, six days. I can't believe it's our first tour in four years. I'm gonna go work on tour stuff and I will see you. I think the next vlog will probably be us making the tour and being on the road. So, bye.